Morning, World Ragers. Well, as promised, we have filed a lawsuit against uh, California for failing to put me on the ballot in this recall election, which takes place on September 14th. We are going to post the complaint on social media later on today, and there are a whole bunch of arguments. Uh, one of them is I turned over 300 pages of five years of my tax returns. Guess who doesn't have to turn over five years of his tax return? Gavin Newsom. Also, the Secretary of State, to the extent that there was some sort of minor error, had the power to correct if she wanted to. She elected not to. And there are many other causes of, of action. So the court is going to hear the case in, when, on Wednesday sometime. I'm confident we're going to prevail. And if not, we're going to take it all the way up to the California Supreme Court. They ruled 7 nothing, by the way, that the law was unconstitutional uh, as applied to Donald Trump. The reason the lawmakers passed it is because they wanted Donald Trump to turn over his tax returns to get on the ballot in 2020 here in California. And they ruled unanimously that it violated the state and the U.S. Constitution. So I don't have any real concerns that I'm going to be off the ballot come Wednesday. So I'm urging everybody to go to electelder.com, electelder.com. And before I go, one of the big reasons that I am running uh, is to push school choice. I just saw a report that said two-thirds of black parents do not want to send their kids back to Los Angeles Unified School District because it's underperforming. In response, the district put out a statement and it said, quote, the district must, must develop an inclusive and strategic approach to improve the academic standing of black students, close quote. Must develop? What the bleep have you guys been doing so far? So please go to electelder.com, electelder.com, throw us something in the tip jar because we have campaign finance limitations. The governor does not. Electelder.com.